So, we have learned that promise, like the valid consideration, is not legally enforceable. However, there are situations in which there are promise, and the promise, like the consideration, or have some other problems, but it could be unfair to the promisee if the promisor work away from a promise. So, in order to provide a remedy with effect for the promisee in the situation in which the promise lack of consideration, the equity court develop a doctrine what it calls promissory as the power. Do you still remember what equity law means? Equity law is the area of law that deal with fairness. And under promissory as the power, there is a remedy if the if the withdrawal of a promise by a promisor will adversely affect a promisee who detrimentally relies on a promise. So that is the concept of the doctrine, which tries to provide a fair remedy for the promisee. In case the promisee have some reason to rely on the promise made by promisor, even though that promise lack of consideration or have some problem with may not be a valid consideration. In order for promissory estoppel doctrine to apply, the promises must prove the following four elements. The first element is that the promisor make a promise. The second element is that the promisor should have reasonably expected that the promisee would rely on the promise. What does it mean? This means that the promisor, when they make a promise to the promisee, is it reasonably for him to expect that the promisee will rely on his promise. In order to access whether the promiser should have reasonably expected that the promises could rely on the promise, the courts apply a reasonable person test or reasonable person standards. Do you still remember the reasonable person test? I just want to repeat. Reasonable person test mean the test that the court use to determine a reasonability of the case. In doing so, the court will take a view of an ordinary person acting reasonably in the given circumstances. So what if the normal person acting reasonably in that circumstances could think or could expect about whether the promise could rely on the promise. The third element is the promise did rely on the promise. It also must be reasonably to determine whether the promise did rely on the promise. Reliance is a very important element. For example, if you go to the shop, you want to buy a laptop, and you understand English quite well, and on the back, on the back of the laptop, they a sign saying that "Made in China." But the vendor of the shop, the vendor of the laptop, told you that this laptop is made in. Japan. You understand language very well. You can read English, 
but you decide to buy the laptop. Later on, the laptop has some problem. You decide to return the laptop based on misrepresentations made by the vendor. Because you asked for the laptop would be made in Japan, but the vendor gave you the one which is made in China. However, in that case, the court will consider the reliance elements. You could not have relied on the statement made by the vendor of the shop because it's very clear that the computer or the laptop is made in China because there is a very visible sign saying that it's made in China. So in that case, the court could not accept the argument made by you as the buyer of the laptop. So reliance is one of the very important elements under US law or under common law country generally. The last element of promissory chapel is that injustice or unfair could result, unfairness could result if the promise is not enforced. So unfairness or unjustice is the last but not less very important element for you to convince the court to apply promissory as the pale. And as you may still remember, promissory as the pale is part of equity law. So who come to equity must come with clean hands. The courts protect fairness under equity law. I can give you an example of a situation in which promissory estoppel apply. The case was between the owner of the house, Mr. A, and the electric chicken. One day, Mr. House, Mr. A house electricity prop, Mr. A house electricity system have some problem. It doesn't work. It's suddenly cut off. And on that day, Mr. A organized a party to invite friends to visit his house. And his housekeeper actually cooking the food using electricity. So he called the electric chicken and told the electric chicken that my house electricity system have some problems. It certainly cut off. I am preparing food for our party to be held in two hours. Please come to discuss the work. And when the electric chicken come, Mr. A have some certain matters that he have to go out. Only the housekeeping person were at home. And when the electric system asked what is the problem, and she said, I don't know, but it's certainly cut off. I need to cook the food. I need to repair the food for the party. And then the electric system start doing the work. So after he finished the work, and in doing the work, he actually spent $50 to buy some spare parts. And he spent almost one hour to fix the problem. When he was about to finish the work, the owner of the house came back, Mr. A came back. And the electric chicken asked Mr. A to pay him a service fee of $200 plus the expense of $50 that he spent to buy some spare parts. But then the owner of the house said, no, 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 we have not have the agreement, okay? We actually, what you have done will pass. This is not a valid consideration. So there is no 
valid contract between us, and I am under no contractual obligation to pay you the two hundred dollars as well as the fifty dollars. What do you think? Do you think that the owner of the house, Mr. A, arguments is correct in this case? The answer is no. The answer is yes. Because what the electric secondary done will pass. They have not had the agreement yet. And you may still remember, agreement is offer and agreement. An offer is offer requires three elements. And the first element is intention to create legal relations. And the second one is that the term and conditions must be clear and definite. But in this case, the term of the offer were not clear. The owner of the house just say, "Please come to discuss the work." Okay, so hit agreement. Sorry, hit argument. Mr. A's argument is correct under contract law. But is it fair? The answer. Certainly is no, okay. So therefore, the court apply promissory estoppel to stop the owner of the house from denying payment because all of the elements of promissory estoppel are presented. You can see here. In that case, the owner of the house did make a promise. Please come to discuss the work. But the work in this situation is something urgent, okay? He is explained to the electric system that his house electricity system had some problem is suddenly cut off, and he is repairing food for the party. This is pretty urgency, city urgent situation, and normally in that situation, you you do not. Just ask the electric second to come in order to discuss, but you in fact want him to do the work. So the second element could also be satisfied, because when you say please come to discuss the work in that situation, you understand that the electric city understand or expect that you will give the job to him. He will do the job, so the second element is satisfied. The third element is that the promise he relies on the promise. That's very true, right? Because he actually start working on the matters, start fixing the problems. He spend money to buy spare part. He spend time to fix the problem, and in fact, he successfully fix the problem. So the Third element is satisfied. The last element is injustice could result if promise not enforced. So that is also satisfied because the electric second have spent fifty dollars for spare parts. That is his expenses, and also he spent almost one hour to fix the problem. So he have performed his job. And for doing so, he should be paid. So unfairness could result if the owner of the house is allowed by law to walk away from his promise. So in that situation, the courts apply promissory estoppel in order to give the electric second a remedy to claim the service free as well as the expenses. That he already spent. 